everyone, welcome to Poor Painting with Ron. I hope you've all been well since the last time we saw each other. Um, and if you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy what you see today and you're inspired to give something new a go. Anyway, today I thought I would use my normal bloom recipe to do a tree swipe. Um, you'll see what that is in a bit. I haven't done one before, so we'll see how it turns out today. But anyway, I'm going to be using this um, 40 centimeter by 50 centimeter thin edge canvas. Um, and like I usually do, I've taped off um, the back with some painter's tape and used some giant push pins. Now this canvas was a bit loose, even when I wetted the back and blow dried it. So I had to use some of the stretch bars as well to get it nice and tight. So I don't get a big pool of paint in the middle of the canvas. And I've made sure that it's level. Now I'm not going to go through my whole bloom recipe um, again for you today. Um, you will see the ingredients on that side of the screen. Um, feel free to pause and write those down. Um, but I'll also put a link to one where I go through everything in detail at the end of this video. So you can go and have a look at that one if you like just to see what exactly I use. But anyway, the pillow paint today, I'm using a white house paint, white acrylic house paint. Nothing added to that, just stirred it. Um, and my um, cell activator mix today is Flow Troll with um, Amsterdam um, Black Oxide. Now, the Amsterdam paints tend to work the best with this technique. Right, so a black cell activator today. And then the colors, I'm using Joe Sonia's again. I really like these. They're, they're really nice to mix and that the colors are really strong. So I'm using one of my favorite color combinations today, ultramarine blue and some brilliant violet and some brilliant magenta and silver. So they should look really nice together, especially with the black lacing happening. All right, let's get started. So there are a couple of steps in today's painting. The first step is to put down my pillow and lay the color on the top. And then I'm going to swipe my color with some playing cards and stretch it out to cover the canvas. And then I'm going to use some palette knives and other bits and pieces to do a, a tree design over my painting. So I hope that won't wreck it, but yeah, we'll soon find out. So anyway, first step, the, the pillow. As I said, just some white, standard white house paint. Now you do want to use a fair amount, but not too much. Otherwise you'll have too much left on the canvas when you're done. there on a nice even sort of rectangle and I'll put some more in the middle hopefully that is enough we'll soon find out anyway all right now I'll just torch that a little bit to get rid of some of the air bubbles A little bit. All right, now do I have enough? Oh, yes, I think I've got plenty, plenty of paint there. Now I'm going to lay the colors across in a line. I'll start off with my darker ones first and then put the lighter ones on the top. Ooh, where's the middle? I think that's the middle. A 
behind me here and I'll do the blue. I'll do the blue in a zigzag. And then this lovely sort of magenta colour. And then I'll just repeat with a little bit more. What did I start with? Purple. And the blue. Center again. silver all right now you could put the the cell activator straight on top and then swipe but I like putting it on um, my wall paint scraper dipping the card in and then swiping out so I'll do that I made my mix a bit thicker than I usually do usually I use one part paint and three parts flow troll but today I use one part paint and one and a half parts flow troll just to give a bit of a thicker mix and hopefully the cell, um, the lacing walls will hold together a little bit better. That's the theory anyway. Okay. I'll just pour this on my wall scraper. Get my card. Get good coverage on the card. Put it about halfway. And then drag out and just wipe off the card. card gets a bit bendy or dirty just turn it around and use the other side I hope I don't wreck it when I do the tree thing that would be a pity my paint is dripping off the side card. I will turn my canvas around because I'm always better swiping in one direction than the other direction. Okay, a bit more cell activator and we do the other side. You do want to press hard enough to take some colour with you, otherwise it all stays in one spot.
looking nice, I think. Here's another card, getting a bit grubby. Too much white there. I might just use my short edge. Don't mind if it's a, a little bit of white. But okay, awesome. Now I'll just let that develop for a, a little bit. So I'll go and wash my paint scraper so the paint doesn't dry on that. And then I'll be back to do the tilting. Righto, we're back. How's it looking? Oh, I do like that colour combination. It's very pretty. All right. Now, um, tilting. Now I might lose my straight lines. Hopefully not, but I might. Was a bit tricky tilting these. Now make sure the paint's moving. Okay, now I'll just walk. The paint down slowly. go to that corner. This other corner. to the middle.
this corner. Sides, make sure the sides are covered. Play with my composition a bit. particularly like this bottom end. I'll see if I can lose some of that without wrecking the rest. Bring it back. Now I've got in mind, I have to keep in mind what my tree is going to be doing. So I see a sort of a tree shape happening. But let's have a look. Oh. I might just go and wash my gloves because they're a bit icky and I'll come back. Oh, well, that's better. Well, that does look quite nice as it is, really. Um, some of the, the lacing is a bit squishy looking, but I do really like what's happening there and up here. Now, if I look at it, I think my tree shape naturally sort of forms from this end up this way and then I've uh, got sort of like branches happening there at the top so I'll turn it around and I'll get my gloves dirty again turn it around just notice that a corner I've missed I'll just pick up some color And fix up the corner. Oh, that's quite pretty. Now I hope I don't wreck it with this experiment. Okay. Now the, the tree trunk thing. I might. No. I'll get a card. And I'll cut the card. That might work better. You do want to get through to the white if possible. better.
a sort of a tree shape happening. Let's turn it around. That's taking shape. Well, this seems a bit a bit dangerous doing these sorts of things. How's that looking, do you think? Not enough white popping through. Okay. Now, I'll use this now. I think some of my paint may have been a bit thick still.
maybe pedal pop stick. paint's too thick there in the middle so it just flows back next time I do it I'll make sure I have less paint in the middle stop it flowing back again Okay, I think I'm just about done. If I play with it too much more, I'm going to wreck it, and I don't want to do that. Hmm. What do you think? I might just get a bit of the white and let it dribble down this side. Carry the, the tree trunk down the side of my painting. Like so. Interesting. It will flow back a bit, so I'm just hoping my tree doesn't disappear. But anyway, that's what it looks like now. Just go around the bottom edges to get rid of the drips. So the drips look horrible when they dry.
like that side. Ah, but this side, I don't know. It's a, a bit skinny, I think. So I, I wonder. No, I may wreck it if I play with it. So, so say if you're mostly happy with it, don't touch it again, because then you might be less happy with it, and then you end up wrecking it all. All right, I'll bring you in for a closer look. Hopefully you can see that. Now, I couldn't help myself, and I did play around with it a little bit more, and I'm a bit happier with it now. You can see there we have the trunk and we've got a, a variety of branches happening. And I quite like that for my first attempt. That's a, some lovely lacing happening in this painting as well. So what did you think? I think my first attempt at a tree swipe using the bloom recipe turned out rather interesting. I did realize though that my pillow paint was too thick in the middle and the paint tended to flow back when I swiped over the top. So next time I'll make sure I use a bit less pillow paint and stretch it out more so I get a more even coating, thinner coating of paint over the surface. I do run the risk too of the paint cracking as it dries because it is so thick, but fingers crossed that that won't happen. Anyway, uh, perhaps I've inspired you to give this technique a go yourself. I hope you can do that and see what you can come up with. Anyway, time for me to clean up now. Um, and time to say goodbye to you guys. Now, as usual, if you like what you see today, please um, press the like button. Helps my content get found on YouTube. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please take a moment to subscribe. So I hope you have a good week ahead and happy painting.